Doc, what are your thoughts on Battlefield's portal mode? I don't really know much about it. I, I don't... I don't know. Custom game modes or something? Doc, what do you think about the latest Battlefield 2042 reveal? Let's check it out. Let's find out what you... I mean, what are you guys talking about? Battlefield 2042. Reveal trailer, EA Play Live one day ago. Okay, here we are. Sarah Espinosa. I feel bad for Battlegrounds, man. P or or what's it called now? Player Unknowns PUBG Player Unknowns. It's literally Player Unknowns Player Unknowns Battlegrounds. I feel bad for them. Uh, I just, I, 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 right now with their game, I, 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 it almost feels like, um, I mean, they are sitting on a, I, I don't know. Like, are they doing anything over there? Are they going to make another game? Are they going to expand the universe of battlegrounds? What's going on? What's really happening? Anyways. Step it up, boys. Go, go. There we are, champs. There we are, champs. I might start a pro battlefield team. I just got to figure out how to pay 50, 50 people. 50 play professional players. <laughs> hey, we can have some fun. I'll tell you, we can have some fun games on this, man. We can create some some good content out of this. I mean, we have the dock casting table, right, champs? Um, man, we can have some fun. Change the rules of war. Every single time I watch a piece of uh, Battlefield, it's like in the chat, Jack Frags, new video, new video. Is he like the only one that makes Battlefield videos and does them at a good quality? Basically, <laughs> I feel the same way too, man. Good for him. I'm sure there's others too, but uh, they just don't have quite the gentle accent. Do we want to watch the Jack Frags video? Watch the Jack Frags video? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I am kind of curious to, to hear more. Uh, like, how, can he bring more information to the table, though? Like, does this guy work at EA? 
specifically on the game? Is he is he the lead creative director or something? How does this guy have all this information? Jack Frags. 10 minute video breakdown, everything. There's a new All right, let's watch it. Smell it. Battlefield 20 dropped a huge bombshell. The Battlefield oh, Port. It just feels good to hear his voice, huh? It's like it, it like immediately Portal. just This will be one of three available multiplayer experiences. If, 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 you know what? If there's a game that I would want to play with Jack Frags, if they had co-op, it would probably be like the new Morrowind or something, you know? Imagine playing Morrowind with Jack Frags. Jack Frags. You know what I mean? Like, oh, what, a, what, a, just a, what an incredibly gentle adventure we have ahead of us, and he's going to break everything down. In the new game, featuring content at launch from BF 1942, Bad Company 2, BF3 and 2042. Oh, let me catch up on some of these donations. And hey, Doc, do the purple snakes pay staff to dislike your video? Pathetic. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it, Alex. A lot of phonies over there, man. Big time. I was I lucky enough to be shown a detailed behind the scenes presentation about this on Tuesday. It's How the hell did you get that access? Quite complex, but I'm going to break. What am I guy? What are, what is what's my what's my agent doing? Break it down for you now, as simple as possible. At its core, think of this as a giant battlefield toy box, and within that is an experience builder, giving the players the options to create, share, and discover. You'll be able to make your own custom servers and game modes using builder tools and a logic editor, mixing and matching content from all of those Battlefield games that I just mentioned. At launch, this will feature six remade fan favorite maps, as well as the seven All Out Warfare maps from 2042, bringing okay. the total to 13. The remade maps are as follows. From BF 1942, we've got Battle of the Bulge and El Alamein. From Bad Company 2, Valparaiso and Arica Harbor. And from Battlefield 3, Caspian Border and No Shark Canals. These maps are all built on the new Frostbite engine, rebuilt assets in 4K 60 FPS with the latest graphics and reimagined with the new tech available. For example, the 1942 maps will now feature destruction <coughs> and weather effects, which they didn't originally have. Additionally, they said that as new content is added to the game in live service, it will also be added to Portal as well. Some of the fan favorite weapons, vehicles and gadgets have been remade too. This isn't just about maps. I've made some graphics here to showcase what will be available for those eras of games when 2042 releases. Feel free to pause the screen, screenshot and share any of this if you'd like to. They've got all okay. the big hitters in here from the M16A3 to the Car 98, the T90, the okay. Havoc. I'm just so glad that they added the B-17 Bomber, otherwise known as the Flying Fortress weapons from all of these old Battlefield games plus the new 2042 weapons. Do you want to make a zombies mode? Do you want to do 64 knives versus 64 repair tools? Do you want to see if 20 Tiger tanks could beat 5 M1 Abrams tanks? You make whatever you want really within the limits of the builder. So what are those limits and how do you build stuff? We got to see a demo of a snipers versus shotgun mode being built. And yes! This is done on a web-based platform. The devs told- I like that game mode already. I mean, I, I know it's like probably one of the most basic like Hey, but you can't go wrong with a sniper shoddy. Told us that web-based means that they can update it freely without having to patch the game, and it is accessible from anywhere. And you don't need a copy of the game to build stuff either, but you will need an EA account. We were then presented with a basic building tool to start with that offered some official preset templates for game modes like Conquest, Rush, Team Deathmatch, etc. And you can then choose that to build off of <laughs> where most of the initial legwork is done already, or you can start from scratch completely custom. You then pick 100%. your eras. Do you want BF3 versus BC2, for example, or do you just want to make a vanilla 2042 server? Can you tweak any of the existing game modes? Meaning, like, I, I just want to know, like, how, how much can you do it? You know what I mean? For example, like, here's just a stupid example, like, but the size of a capture zone or capture area, can you mess around with the size of that? You know, can you blow it out or can you just like own it in on one on one little small shack? Probably not. I'm thinking probably not. Said you wanted to build a smaller experience, but with 128 players, RPG only, a bit of chaos, and you only want it at the gas station on Caspian border. You then choose the team size. So do you want 40 players? Yes, everyone's saying yes in the chat. Asymmetric teams. Do you want to go Jesus. to the extreme of 
127 German World War II soldiers with knives versus one player with an M240B like machine gun. Engineer only. No, ah, uh, no! A lawn that looks like this. But your lawn That's a good looking lawn. More like this. Then you should now. right here and check out. Further and disable or enable specific Doc, when are we going to see you start a OnlyFans? Well, I got so much meat on my thighs. Well, just um, it would look Remember really awkward. It get really crazy, and we've... Really so I got to cut down on my the thighs. Castle. The next section was insane, and it offered a level of customization that I'd never seen before in a Battlefield game. Headshot multipliers, aim assist, force reloading of whole magazines. Aim assist revive, off. Slide, sprint, prone, sprint strafe, fall damage, health regen. Turn the hood on and off for all players so you can make a proper hardcore mode. Disable the compass, disable pinging. Anything that you could think of was there. 1942 weapons, gadgets, and vehicles. People are saying That's game of the year candidate. Want to have a server Damn. That's all I mean, the 2042 map. If they come out, specialists, then make a server that's. If they come out of the block with this, and everything is, for the most part, bug-free, smooth sailing. I mean, that's the tough part, right? Uh and people are just really enjoying this game, you know, um, and it hits all the check boxes. People have been wanting. I mean, BF3. It seems like a pretty big game right now, especially when they introduce Battle Royale in like March next year. Era teams and classes only, but give them the 2042 weapons and gadgets. They will. Is also it cross-platform? Absolutely. Popular community creations too. Any AAA to game now is cross is cross-platform. Like that's browser. in the. Wrapping things up at the end of the presentation, there was a any big one that's coming out. Picked up it has to be now. Interesting responses in that. Official guides will be coming. There'll be good tutorials teaching players more complicated things in that logic editor with Wikipedia-like pages and info. Store some. Okay, I'm I'm to getting. Create. I gotta like take a break here, man. I, is this like information overload? You've got admin controls on the servers. You can okay. boost through the rank. All right. Want to exponentially grow what's possible there, and what else could Ripple Effect add to Portal? The that is just so cool to me. The time traveling. Nice, nice. Got a little information overload there at the end, but uh, that kind of came out of nowhere, huh? That was, I wasn't expecting something like that. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm up for it, man. I'm down. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Woo. <laughs> Caught you off guard there, huh? Uh, I, I don't know. I think so. Beautiful. I got a few friends playing the New World Closed Beta. You hear about that game? Uh, yeah, I, I like I was watching a little Tim the Tap Man for, I mean, literally like 30 seconds, and I had to turn it off. And then Courage is on it. I, I'm like, I turned it off. I, I, I can't watch these. Um, the game's probably good. But in terms of watching, spectating, I think those are the worst games to spectate. The MMORPGs. But I, however, I, I, the proximity chat that's in the game, I just wish every single game had proximity chat like that, man. Yeah, it just, it just, it, it keeps the energy level up, creates like a, like a kind of like a cool community. I don't know. It does. You know, you're not wrong. I remember my last year of college, uh, <clears throat> Southern California. So it was like, you know, six, seven hours from Northern California where I originally grew up and lived, right? And, so I'm on my last year of college down in Southern California and I had no access to, and this is when, right when Halo 2 came out and multiplayer was happening and I had buddies up in Northern California playing it like every day, all day. And so literally when it came to the weekends, I would drive Friday night, seven hours every single weekend all the way to Northern California so I could play Halo with them all weekend long and then drive back Monday morning for class. Yeah. Dedication. Man. Halo 2 was something else. Dedicate. Hey. Man, imagine you could still do that. You know, when you're young and <clears throat> probably just couldn't pull it off anymore, huh? Seven hour drive. Feel good with that, Doc? Easy. I mean, because now it's like a three hour Easy. drive in the Lambo, you know? Woo! Oh! Come on, baby! <laughs> oh, man! Oh! <laughs> Got to blow by your Porsche, too, Z. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, man. We're talking, we're talking 1.8. <clears throat> Some people on the strip have got it to 1.70 to 60. 
Doc and Z versus Timmy and Nikki in a game of hoops. Who's coming out with their ankles broken? Jesus. You might as well just throw Z on their team, too, at the same time. <laughs> no offense, Z. I, I just... 